getting everything set up here, guys. So we got uh, 17 minutes and 20 seconds to go. What's going on, stickheads? Welcome to the first E3 press conference. We got EA up first. First time I'm ever live streaming uh, an event, something like this. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Um, if there's audio issues, please let me know right away. I'd really appreciate it. Guys, I'm gonna grab a beer for this. Taking their seats. Told them to just take their seats. Ugh. So please let me know what the camera is well, how we're doing there. Um, again, I am doing all this for the first time. Hasn't even started yet. We're already on some uh, buffering issues. So, doing the best I can here. Hopefully. So, we got two up tomorrow. We got uh, Xbox. And uh, Bethesda, this is super late our time, 11 o'clock central time. Um, so hopefully by then we will have everything straightened out. So this one's kind of the test run. So if you're watching, welcome to the beta test of us uh, live streaming. Appreciate it. <laughs> Got the chat open. Please feel free to join in in the chat about uh, how you feel about the things happening. What's going on, Foos? How's, uh, how's everything looking and sounding for on your end there, Foos? Let me know. My 
giant screen and everything. By the way, enjoying a uh, Citra Hero during this conference. Yeah, I know, man. The video, the video is choppy. It's, it's choppy on my end, too. I'm trying to figure out. It keeps buffering and stuff. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if my internet's just not fast enough or if my Surface can't handle doing two things at once like this. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Sometimes YouTube's garbage. You guys think? Do you think Twitch would be better? Ugh. Let me see if. Let me see if I can do, see if I can uh, see how Twitch would be. Look at everyone streaming this right now. Woo. See, electronic arts even use their Twitch anymore. Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, like I said, this is gonna be a beta. This is gonna be a beta run um, to see how this streaming goes. So we'll use YouTube for this one. See how it goes from there. Um, and then for Microsoft tomorrow, I can always make an adjustment if I have to. Um, seems to be running a little bit better right now. So hopefully it'll stay consistent. Oh man. Oh, so what's everyone hoping to see from EA besides uh besides the normal sports? <laughs> Perfect, Foos. Thank you. Maybe I will, I'll check out Mixer really quick then while we still got a, about nine minutes to go here. Microsoft streaming and mixer 4K 60 FPS. Jesus. Yeah, my internet will definitely not be able to handle that. That's awesome, though. I see other people's shows and whatnot here on mixer. That's all right. We'll stick with this for now.
Oh, okay, that's cool. That makes sense then. Well, that'd be really interesting to see. Twenty-something seconds behind. Come on, this buffer is killing me. Uh, get this going here. Post. Post to Facebook so everyone knows that we're live. Alright, come join people. Facebook now, everyone knows. Come join us. Please share the link if you can. Twitch.tv slash the sticks podcast. Just gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There we go, got the got the chat back up. So I'm all set, so be sure to join us and give your feedback in the chat and we'll talk throughout this whole thing. It'll be a good time. Well, looks like they're ready to show off Star Wars Battlefront 2 already. Actually, closer to four. With all this buffering that's going on. A minute behind, huh? Who's damn? That's not good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have... I usually don't... This is really bad. Like, I wonder if YouTube is just... God. Every time I stream these, YouTube just struggles sometimes. And it's struggling. Well, I know Twitch gives me, like, a, there's a delay on Twitch, but... The struggle is real on uh, my side for YouTube as well. It is just poking now that we're getting close. This is going really slow. Come on. Like I said, last night I did a little bit of testing with a couple of YouTube videos and it worked fine. It works very smooth. So it's got to be just this, this thing going on. That's right, it is all about the commentary. <laughs> I said, hopefully this will be exciting and not put me to sleep. Usually that's Ubisoft that does that, which we will not be doing Ubisoft since I will be finishing up work and then we'll get home for the, at the end of it. So 
will not be doing Ubisoft or Nintendo on this weekend. Uh, not, not live commentary at least. We'll still we'll talk about it, but we won't. Uh, not, nothing live and everything. Um, but Microsoft of Xbox tomorrow will be live. Uh, sorry, three forty-five Central Time. Uh, Bethesda will be live. That starts at eleven o'clock Central Time. Um, and then the Sony on Monday night for the PlayStation one. I should have everyone with me. Art and uh, Mike should both be with me. Um, and we, that starts at 8 o'clock Central Time, uh, Monday night. So, fuck Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah, I know, Foos. They, their, their, their conferences are always so bad. It's only just a lot of filler and a bunch of crap. Um, but I'm really excited to see that new Assassin's Creed. I love the whole Egypt setting and everything. I love ancient Egypt. So I can't wait to see that. Uh, but here at EA, I mean, obviously we're going to get some more Madden, some bunch of FIFA, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, hopefully we'll get some of the new Star Wars game, I'm hoping, um, what else could we see from them, I don't know, I'm hoping some surprises, um, it'd be nice to get a couple Switch games on here too, uh, that'd be kind of cool to see if they're, what they're doing there, if they are yet, uh, besides FIFA. Who's that? Who says Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Origin is built for Scorpio as the target system? Hell yes. That's what I'm talking about then. I will be all over that. It'll be on my list to get with the Scorpio. Oh man, here we go. Let's do this. Conference over. <laughs> well, that was quick. Let me jump live here really quick so I know I'm a little bit behind. There we go. Yeah, I know I can't handle Frostbite uh, if you prefer Switch. It's, that's a shame. But it'd be fun to play something like that on, on, on the uh, um, fun on the road. Man, this is going slow now for me. I'm going to have to figure this out for tomorrow. Your stream is closer to the live? Good, good, good. Okay, good. Yeah, well, it's going a little slow, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot they announced that new Need for Speed already. Well, again, it'll be fun for, like, a few days, and then, you know, that's it. Oh, they just showed Sims. More Sims. I thought that was dead. Nine, eight, seven, six, according to my stream. <laughs> oh, they're all wearing Brady jerseys, starting with Madden right away. Two minutes of drummers. <laughs> Let me try to jump up here again. Try to catch back up again. There we go. Oh, it's giving out mixer too? Okay, good. Well, that's good to know. That's insane. I mean, we've been streaming these for a while, for the last few years now. It's like, you'd think this would get better by now. Ugh. Madden 18 long shot.
Two basic. A little different incentive to play some Madden. It's kind of cool. I was kind of kind of curious how that story mode will go. I'd be I'm very interested. Good job, Drumline. Oh, nice of you to finally admit that. You know, you haven't done anything to your game in years. Good, more consistent. I'm gonna try to join back up with everyone. A little closer. Destructive. Ha! There's a lot of people mad. Looks a little bored already. For the next three days, we're here to celebrate play with all of you. And what better place to start than with a game that has taken the world by storm? Battlefield 1. There's, yeah! There's more than 20 million Battlefield 1 players down in today, and we've got a lot to share about a revolution that's coming to this great franchise. Oh, sorry, Art. I just saw your message. I'm running at 720. Suck, but let me see if I can maybe uh, lower the resolution one. Own memorable moments. 
This is just brutal. See if that helps at all. Yeah, I noticed it. Yeah, it was 60 FPS. It was um, that was the only option I had for 720. So this seems to be working way better now already. All right, I know our team. Our team's a little behind, but when we hit live, jump, get back in there. It's just Battlefield One stuff. There we go. Oh good, well that's good to know then. Yeah, I'll run it at a lower resolution going forward. Very serious, very serious. right now.
Good for him. So we're doubling down in competition in ways only EA can. This fall, we're launching the largest FIFA championship ever, with many ways to compete. The best top players will compete in the FIFA Ultimate Team Champions Cups. And in our official football league competitions, you can represent your favorite real world team. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that guy loses my first round. Germany's a pretty big looking. I've never really watched any of these. Could never be me. Terrible at those games. Ronaldo. I know, right? Those belts were huge. Good. That looks like Ronaldo. One of these years I'll actually finally play FIFA. It looks like a great game. Every year it gets great reviews. Maybe this will be the year. If I do look at some Ronaldo. These guys are hilarious. I don't know if you guys have ever watched these guys on, uh, I think they're on ESPN. These guys are so funny talking about football. I love it. Football. Life. 
It's all melding I don't know, these guys are, uh, it's no Pele, like they had a couple years ago. So suave, so suave. I'm gonna start using that word, suave. Hunter returns. Do they have a previous one with him? What up, guys? Thank you for having me. Uh, you guys all know who I am. My name is Jesse Rollins, and I am a creator. So, I'm here to... Do you know why you're here? Are you sure? So I think we're really excited to tell everyone about Nick 
Exactly. Exactly. Kind of sounds like underground. Let's just remaster uh, Underground. Just give me a remaster of Underground. I'd be super happy about that. Looks pretty like it normally does. Get him! Ooh! How about you just give us a burnout? Seeing that move right there, right? <laughs> exactly, Poos. Oh, that's hilarious. Great mind things alike. That car just hit him. You didn't hit that car. That car hit him and wiped out. Yeah, it's totally burnout's features there. Yeah, no, it looks like crash mode with these like takedowns and everything like that. I mean, they make this more like burn burnout. I am, I'm all in. Pull up beside the truck. What is this, Fast and Furious? This totally is Fast and Furious. Rebel 2. Close to from the beginning. 
pretty good game. Ken Lynch style right here. No, but it's exactly um, exactly what it was. Who's? <laughs> I mean, still can play this with his daughter if you wanted to. A way out. That looks cool. It does. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it looks fun. Hey, my name is John Sabaris. I always go through it with someone. That's your choice, Fuz. Split screen club only. Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm all about the couch co-op. Couch co-op for sure. Not enough of that anymore. It's a lot more fun than playing uh, co-op online. But co-op in general is just a good thing. <laughs> I didn't believe this guy. He is super excited. I believe him. It will kick ass. It's on my radar. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And it was good energy, not like Mr. Caffeine.
This is really cool. Awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. I know, I know. Me again. Um, yeah. Thank you, Joseph. That game is absolutely yeah. stunning, and I can't wait to you guys. Now let's switch gears for just a minute. It's great to be here showing you the games you'll play this year. But at the same time, we are inspired to look farther ahead. Creative ideas combined with technologies become an unstoppable. We have teams today taking technologies that are changing the world and using them to change the way we play. These are the futurists, the incubators, our talented artists, designers, and engineers within our studios, our Frostbite team, our digital platform team, and a new research division called SEED. What motivates me every day is the responsibility we have to push our industry forward. That's one reason we created this new division. Seed is a small, stealthy team that I work with on a daily basis, exploring some of our most visionary concepts, like deep learning or neural networks, creating a world for you to define, to interact with, and share as you wish, or virtual, virtual humans with deeply sophisticated artificial intelligence. Hopefully continue to so give us better games. Instead of a way out, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah, I don't know if we'll show any Switch stuff at this event. We'll see. Because FIFA is only they announced officially. They didn't even show it during that. That looks nice. That looks good. This looks good, though. This will be a big, it's gonna be a big Scorpio thing. Oh, from Bioware.
crisis means Titanfall. Anthem. Cool. Can't wait to see more. Hey everybody. I'm, I'm interested. Ryan, and I'm here today to share the latest about NBA Live 18 with you. Wait, NBA Live still exists? About it, I'd like to show you. I thought they canceled this completely. Two years completely overhauling virtually every aspect of gameplay. Guys, you seem to give up. 2K is just too good. He's holding the controller, but the um, the game just has a screen. Maybe has a screenshot on it. My guy right here, creative director Connor Dugan. Connor, let's take first look at NBA Live 18. Yeah, what's up? I mean, I'm super excited that people finally get to get their hands on NBA Live. We're gonna take a look at a replay we just got. Q and I were playing. I'm controlling LeBron. LeBron. Q's controlling KD. Let's take a look. Get all these angles in here. I want to see sweat. All right. So replay. Come actual gameplay during the game. Out of replay. Combination of moves I want. So I can go behind the back, between the legs, and now I'm trying to attack the basket. But KD or Q cuts me off with a flick of his left stick, and then I try to go back at him again. This time I'm going to go middle, but Q's late. He doesn't hit his left stick. He misses a timing window, and now I have an open lane to the. No, I agree, Foos. I definitely agree. I wish 2K would um get. I wish it would make another hockey game. The hockey game would be fantastic. Uh, I loved 2K back in the day. They could still do it. They just don't. They should though. Because EA has gotten super lazy with the NHL series, and it's hard. Well, it looks like LeBron. Oh, I played the hell out of NFL 2K as well. But then All-Pro Football 2K8 they came out with a while ago, like, on 360, that was terrible. I don't know if it was 2K8, but it was all that All-Pro Football game with all, like, the legends and stuff. That was not very good. I would hope they'd be, I mean, I'm sure they'd be able to challenge Madden again, but it'd be nice. EA needs, com they need competition. Always they get lazy, like, I mean, you said, like, Madden and NHL get pure, super lazy. Another story mode. The streets. Uh, just give us an NBA, a new NBA street. I'll be all for that. Playgrounds was okay, but it still is not NBA street. Yes, MLB the show is uh, very, very, very good. Looks amazing and everything. I don't even think two K. I don't. Even, they don't even make baseball anymore. They can if they wanted to, but they um, they don't even make baseball anymore because two K got bad. The baseball games were pretty decent, and then they got really bad. But as soon as they got the exclusive rights to the third parties, it was bad. Well, it seems like the right direction for NBA Live, I will say. But we'll see how that gameplay is. Gameplay in years, the last time they tried making it, that's why they canceled it last minute. It was so terrible.
Oh yeah, Power Pro Baseball, I've heard amazing things about that. Jesus, here we go. 30 minutes of Star Wars. Oh. We're doing good in the world. We're not. We shouldn't be the most hated company. Star Wars overhaul. I hope this story mode is great. The first Battlefront's a lot of fun. It's cool. It's just you guys have some single play the, the whole story single player mode in Star Wars. We want story. It's gonna be 25 minutes of stormtroopers on this on this stage. and sound of This will be a lot of fun. More space battles and starfighter assault and deeper progression and customization as well as content from across all eras. But, as we know, Star Wars is not just some checklist of great features. How does Battlefront 2 play? The team at DICE in Stockholm has some of the most talented multiplayer designers in the world, and they've been working with the EA Game Changers to make sure that... <laughs> 
<laughs> like a Charizard would be awesome. That'd be hilarious. If you, if you die, if you die to Jar Jar, you're just you're dead for the rest of the match. That's the way it should be. Yes, our, we are a bunch of nerds. We love our Star Wars. I hope they include another VR mission in this one. The x -Wing VR mission in the first Battlefront was pretty awesome. We need more Star Wars uh, VR. Oh yeah. Love Darth Maul. <laughs> Clone Wars voice actors? Nice. Nice. Yep. 
I don't think it's sorry if I'm gonna get this on uh, okay. Pro or so Scorpio. True, 4K 60 FPS on Scorpio, then that'll be the one. I'll probably be, I'm sure it'll be 4K 60 FPS on Pro too, but who knows? That's awesome. Very awesome. So, the first season, inspired by Star Wars The Last Jedi, is only the beginning of the additional content coming to the game. All post-launch heroes, maps, weapons, and vehicles will be free for everyone who owns that Star Wars That is fantastic. Goodbye season pass. Like, here, this is what you all asked for, now shut up and enjoy it. Official release date yet? She just mentioned November. to this is what like a probably what 10 minutes in or so 20 minute match this map is gonna be awesome I can already tell this is gonna be really really cool
Oh, someone's playing NBA Live instead of uh, Star Wars. Oh, there we go. Whoop. Joys of doing things live. Troopers too. That's awesome. No, hopefully, yeah. If you're hoping your daughter uh, will really, really like enjoy this. Oh yeah, all right. He totally crashed into that. He totally crashed into that building. That was hilarious. <laughs> Focusing on like the the um, third person perspective this time. Because last time they were all like, oh, they're, you know, you could play as third person, but they're like, no, you should, you know, kind of like the way they were showing up. It's like, oh, no, you should play this as, you know, first person and everything. I always play, I mean, Battlefront in third person is fantastic. Disagree with us, but at the same time, the first person. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they've done they've done a great job of converting it to a console now, though. I mean, last time I tried playing using mouse and a keyboard to play something, I struggled hard. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's cool. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Same guy that crashed before. Oh, 
Oh, take it out. That guy almost nailed the duel himself. be running that thing around the map all day. That'd be awesome. This is cool. I mean, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I just don't like. I don't know why they gotta keep feel like they gotta just show the entire match. Oh, they're showing a lot of the same stuff. Unless they're gonna start showing, showing us some other things. Like, it's a bit much. <laughs> That's a good point, Art. Art says live gameplay D3 is like a kid at school who plays a seven minute video for their eight minute presentation. Time filler. Oh, it's exactly what it is. I mean, it's like, again, it's cool. It looks great. I mean, you know, you could have showed me just a quick five minutes of gameplay and I would have been sold. And I already am sold, but it's like I don't need to see more of this. I mean, Dark Vault looks awesome here. Show people enough to get an impression and move on. Exactly. No, I agree 100%. It looks great. You listen. You change some things up. It looks great. I was going to figure out my first, first world problem of 
Crow or Scorpio, and good to go. I guess I'll just start a poll, a poll sometime in the near future, see where the majority of people are getting this on. Oh, that looks awesome. That's a lot of fun. Oh, down he goes. You know, I almost wonder if EA had more to show off now of that Anthem game. And Microsoft asked them to hold off so they can showcase it with Scorpio. That's probably, I wonder if that's why they decided to do this. This huge pillar. Oh man! Lightsaber battle. Awesome. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Money, money talks. Oh, we got some hot solo action. No, I'm not really that too surprised about that, though, Foos, about um, the timeline for the super characters. I mean, I'm, that is kind of part of the fun, though, I think, of Battlefront, mixing and matching and stuff. I mean, Ray versus Maul, as we saw, that's pretty fucking awesome. I and mean, you know, we'll never, honestly, I mean, obviously, we'll never see that. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of cool to mix in the super characters whenever, uh, during the different time periods and stuff. I think, I, I, might, I mean, that's my opinion. I think it's a really cool idea. I, I, I really like that. Goodbye. You lose. Of course, Maul's the MVP. One of the most badass characters in all the Star Wars universe. Awesome. Just didn't need to show it that much. No, oh, I agree, Foos. Do not show another round. Please let that be it. No more. <laughs> that guy slammed it. They showed him again. I love it. So you really need to show highlights now? Like, come on. We saw it. We all saw it. We all watched. Let's go. Move on. There's got to be a couple more things you guys got to show. Unless this is it. I mean, I'm hoping. I was hoping to get another of that. Um, that that one Star Wars game they briefly showed off. What was that a couple of years ago during the like a montage video they had? Oh, 
Yeah, yeah the crash into the building was definitely the highlighter. Uh, so does the game do a montage of highlights in engine? It seems like uh, that'd be cool. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I'm kind of curious. But if it does, I mean, if it's in engine, I mean, that'd be yeah, that'd be really really cool. I think. amazing. Probably a lot of fun to go to. No. No. Galaxy of Heroes, if you have never played it, it's fun for a little while, and then you hit a certain point where if you're not going to pay for it, you're not, it's super hard and like impossible. Yeah, see, look at that guy. He said he spent a thousand dollars. There you go. Yeah, because you need to pay in order to get anywhere with that game, like most mobile games. Yeah, but it's I mean, yeah, that's that's what they count on with these free-to-play games. People are spending all this money. That's what they hope for. I was like, he probably shouldn't have said that he spent a thousand dollars. That's going to turn a lot of people off. Oh no, me too. Foods. Yeah, I'll download some of these free to play games. Like I said, they're fun. They're fun for like a, for a while. You hit, they're good, they're decent games, and then you hit a certain point where you have to pay for it. There you go. I hope you're enjoying this uh, gameplay with no sound. I have no sound on my end, so that is why you have no sound right now. Oh, there it goes. Where's the sun? They're really gonna like talk about this? Is this all they have? Is there anything after this? Or is this like the end of it? I mean, I'll stick it through this mobile crap. Club Heroes from Star Wars Rebels. Cool. God, I love Rebels. I cannot wait for the last season. So sad to be the final season. It's going to be so good, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on a little bit longer, guys, just to see um, if we're if the if this was it. Because if that's it for the real wow, that's really bad for EA. Like, 
That's worse. The worst they've had in years. That was nothing. I mean, that makes sense, I guess, because Battlefront is all they... I mean, if they're going to show that much, it's, they had to to fill time. Yeah, no, I mean, EA is usually not great, but I mean, but that's it, really? Like, we usually, we usually have a few other things. I mean, I know Mass Effect didn't do well, but no Mass Effect DLC at all or anything like that, even, like... Oh, fair enough, Art, yeah. I'm only watching this for you people on the internet. Because I usually tune into EA, but sometimes turn it off halfway through. Yeah, there was, there was absolutely no reason to have their own conference this year. I mean, FIFA, Madden, all that, that's nothing. The only thing was a way out, which was awesome looking. That looked amazing. Um, and then uh, Anthem looks cool, but tomorrow we'll get a, way more of it tomorrow during Microsoft's uh, thing, and that's going to be showcased with all the Scorpio stuff. God, this is so much about the mobile game. I might be giving it up here soon. I'll give it another couple minutes. Go out, get the Phoenix Squad members, as they are the people that we see in the show with Tron. They are, he's their primary protagonist. Uh, or, I'm sorry, primary antagonist. And so, yeah, he's their friend, best friend ever. Uh, so, you'll take your Phoenix Squad, you go in, you will fight Thrawn, and you will be able to Thrawn, up to a seven-star Thrawn through. We are in reaction mode already, huh? Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't believe this is it. Well, it looks like they're wrapping up here, so let me see what goes into after this, just to make sure. back to Need for Speed. What? This is so confusing. Like, so this is basically what they what they showed already, right? I mean, I mean, they showed this off during the week. This, what was that last week? They showed this trailer when they announced the game. Yeah, they're done. All right, that's it. That well. That's it for the EA conference this year, I guess. Okay. Um, so, well, thanks for joining us, anyone who joined us today. Um, uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, probably start around between 3.30 and 3.45. Uh, the Microsoft press conference is up first. And then we'll take a little bit of a break, and we'll come back late, late at night. Uh, um, uh, at 11 o'clock at night for the uh, Bethesda uh, conference. Um, yeah, this is definitely a good practice run. Thank you for being the beta test. Um, I, everything ran smooth, I think, at, up until once I switched the resolution from the video. Everything's running pretty smooth. It sounds like the video's good. My audio is good. That's awesome. Hey, so, um, so, yeah. So, tune in tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then.